exclusive is Bicozi.com is here. Bicozi.com is an American website with the biggest collection of chunky yarns for hand arm knitting and knitting with big needles. We have chunky Chanel yarn, we have Jumbo Chanel yarn, we have variegated color Chanel yarn, we have beautiful super chunky merino wool that you cannot buy anywhere only on our website and uh, many other different uh, chunky yarns. So visit our website becausey.com or becausey.net, it's the same, and check out our yarns. We're making these videos to promote our yarns. So today I will be making a beautiful pillow, uh, Easter rabbit pillow. So it, I will be using the pillow that I made before. Um, I have a video showing how to do it. The video will be underneath, the link to that video will be underneath the video, okay? I will also put it in the right top corner. You can just click and you can go to that video, either underneath or here on the top. And um, you will make that pillow. I will be using just one skein of uh, either light lavender for this rabbit or uh, today I will be showing you how to make this guy with the blush color okay and uh, for the ears I will be using yellow color and I will be using uh, the buttons that I have I will be gluing them with the glue gun you can simply use a piece of black yarn if you want. So it's very simple. Uh, it will take literally 15, 20 minutes of your time. It's just one skein of Bicozy Chunky Chanel yarn. Uh, we have 47 different colors available and we have 24 variegated colors available. So make sure to visit our website and buy uh, some of our yarn. It is not available in any craft store. So if you have our yarn ready, let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. So we will be making this uh, cute rabbit. Uh, actually this rabbit is pre-made and we will be making a pink one or blush color. Here it is. So this is the one that I made earlier. So this is light lavender color and yellow. And I will be just using the pillow that was pre-made. And there is a video where I'm showing how to make it. So I, I will put a link on the video uh, in the corner, in the right corner, uh, right top corner. And also there will be a link underneath the video. So you can watch that video and make this pillow. It's very easy. It's just one skein of uh, Chunky Chanel, because it's Chunky Chanel. And then I will be using some of our yellow color for the ears. What else we will need? So today, first time since I started making videos, I will be using glue gun for the eyes. And you don't have to do it. You can just use a piece of black yarn for the eyes. I will be using this eyes that I found on Amazon and they can be glued. See, they don't have anything on the back. They can be easily glued. I will also need um, this big uh, needle, plastic needle. I bought it in uh, Joanne. And then a piece of regular uh, thickness yarn in black for the mouth. And then this little piece of silver gray uh, for the nose and a little bit of white, two pieces of white for the top of the eyes and uh, needles, guys. So let's get started. It's kind of going to be an easy project. So we will start with ears, okay? So let's take our yellow color. And, um, you know what, let's probably make eyes first because then we will see where ears should be, okay? So let's do it this way. We will uh, take our eyes and we will attach them where we want them to be, okay? Like that. So I will take a glue gun. I will put some of the glue on the eye and then some on the yarn and then attach it. And hold it for a little bit. And then we will do the same for the second eye. Just a little bit of glue on the eye and then some 
on the yarn. Be careful because it's very, very hot. Here we are. So we have these two eyes. We can put our glue gun away. Okay. So now uh, when we have eyes uh, for this cute rabbit pillow, we can take our yellow yarn. We will make a knot on the end. This knot will prevent yarn from unraveling. And again, as I mentioned, let me show you on another side. If you want, you can just use a piece of black yarn. I will show you, then I will take it off. So you just insert the yarn where you want uh, eyes to be, like here. And then you are making a small knot on the back of the black yarn like that. And I will not be making a knot because it's just uh, uh, an example. You're just taking these two pieces and uh, making eyes with them. So like that. See, that will be your eyes if you don't have uh, plastic eyes. So now I will take it off. And we will be using this beautiful eyes here. OK, so uh, another thing we can do right away, we can uh, insert this uh, nose inside the uh, s this circle of the pillow. Here we are. See, we already have face, eyes and nose. Um, let me show you how to make the ears. So the ears will be, uh, if you uh, put like a straight line over here uh, in your mind it will be a little bit on the side so then you will take your yarn yellow yarn and you will and it will be the side of the pillow and you will in, in the find the middle part of the stitches not the top one the middle over here and then you will insert your finger and grab that yellow yarn and pull it out then find the next one see not this one the one in the middle of these two part of the stitch two and then another one that will be number three so you just made three stitches what are we doing next we will first of all pull this uh, put this end of the yarn inside because you don't need it so you have three stitches here now we'll need to make three stitches on this side okay so here we are we are lifting the yarn, inserting the yarn, and taking it out. One in front of this one, and then the second one, and then the third. So we'll have three up front and three on the back, like that. So we have three and three. Now we will start knitting them. Try to knit them tight. That will help. Uh, the ear to stand when it's done. It will be standing ear, not flappy, floppy ear. And if you make a, uh, if you want to make a flappy ear, that's absolutely fine too. Just uh, knit a little bit looser, and then it will, or and longer too. Then it will be kind of hanging on the side. So we will be doing it for five to six rows, guys, depending how. Uh, long your ear should be so you can count stitches one two three four and we will make a few more rows so you just simply knit in, in a circle this six stitches for six rows let's do six okay see you already see the ear forming and you just keep knitting you can Turn the uh, pillow on another side if it's easier for you this way. And then just keep knitting until you have six rows, okay? So I think this is row number six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so we will need uh, two, or actually three stitches on the back. One, two, three. Actually, not because these two we will be knitting together so see this four is st sitting here and these two we're knitting together like that so we just knitted two together 
Now we are knitting this in the middle. And now we're knitting this two together, guys, okay? So we decreased stitches on both sides and make, uh, the, uh, make this ear uh, pointy on the top. Now make one row with this four stitches. And now we will uh, decrease and we will knit this side together again. And then this stitch here and this stitch. And now when you have three, we can uh, finish, let's need this one. We can finish this ear, cut the yarn, make a knot, cut the tail. Now, we will insert this tail inside the three stitches. One, two, three. And then insert it inside the previous stitch. So this will make this ear a little bit more pointy. Now this uh, uh, piece of yarn, the end will go inside like that. And this is our ear. So let's make another one. The same way, guys, we are making a knot on the end of the yarn. And uh, we need to find the area that it would be symmetric. So it should be somewhere here. So the yarn goes here. Uh, insert your finger in the middle stitch, not this two, in the middle. One, the next one, middle one, two, and three. So you just made three stitches. And now we will make this one will go inside the tail. We don't need it. Stick it inside. And now three over here. One, two, and three. So we now have six stitches in front of each other and we are knitting them for six rows. It's actually easier to remember this way. Six stitches, three on each side, and then we're knitting them for six rows. And after that, we will decrease a few stitches to make this ear looking nice and pointy. Again, try to knit uh, tight when you're knitting the ears, because this way, uh, they will be standing nicely uh, and it will be very nicely looking uh, Easter rabbit pillow. You can make this project with your uh, children. They will love to help you and they will really like this pillow as their Easter gift. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So this is row number six. Okay, let's see. So we're going on the back. We are finishing the sixth row. And then on the, the, on the side, these two stitches will be knitted together. Like that. So we're decreasing on the side. Then we are knitting one in the middle. And then we're decreasing this two. So we're knitting this two together. Here we are. So now knit the one on the back. And then this one too. So we're just knitting one more row. And then we are knitting this two together again. And then this row just all together. And now we will finish by cutting the yarn, making a knot. And now this tail will go inside the three stitches from inside out. 
one, two, three, and then insert it in one that you inserted before, and insert it inside the ear. Here we are. Look at this beautiful ears. Now we need a little yarn on the uh, on the top of the eye. I think it brings some uh, cuteness. So just insert this white yarn, and you can make a knot as I showed for the eyes, if you're making eyes this way, or you can just insert it like that. And I have another piece here. Let me find it. It fell. Here's the second one. So again, you are inserting it uh, on the top of the eye, and then a little bit on the end go like that should be pretty symmetric. So this one is a little bit not symmetric. Let's see. Let's put it over here. Here you go. Here you go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Here. Now the time to make a mouse. So for the mouse, we will insert. I have this big needle with a pretty thin yarn, but not too thin. And you can use a needle. If you don't have a needle, you can just uh, insert the yarn uh, with your hands. So what we will do, we will insert the yarn from uh, a little bit, a, a few stitches down here and all the way to the nose. And then we will connect the yarn. You can connect it with the knot, guys, OK? And then pull it here. We have one line that we needed to make. And now we will make two lines that will go on the left and on the right. So we will insert it here, Oop. a little bit like that, like that. And then you can go oops, inside again, come out on the same area in the middle. And then we will go to the uh, to the right. So let's go a little bit here. And then we will go to the right over here. to the right and now like that and then we will just go down because that's where we'll where we will finish it that it will not be on the way here we are so. nice and cute and here you can simply attach uh, the yarn to the stitch inside with the little knot and then you can cut it and it will go inside. So see, you will not really see it. So here we are, guys. We are done. Isn't it nice? It took you like a few minutes to make this cute rabbit. So we have one in la light lavender. And we have this a little bit less, a smaller pillow in <coughs> blush color. So you can find these colors uh, at becozy.com. And... Uh, you can make this project and share it on our Facebook page, uh, Becozy Hand Knitting Club, uh, and stay warm and be cozy. Hey guys, my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase. It can be purchased at Becozy.com and on Amazon and also available as a e Kindle. It's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. It's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market.